Hi guys, Irit here with uh, something a little different today. I am doing a spread in my art journal and that is because I got these lovely high flow uh, acrylic paints. Um, I got these on Blitzy and I have to say it's an online store in the US and I find that they have uh, great deals on art supplies. Uh, they have a ton of stuff like scrapbooking stuff also and um, craft supplies and art supplies and uh, I try to usually get my stuff uh, within the European Union um, just because it's you know it arrives faster and shipping is lower than from the US and there's no customs or anything but when I find a good deal uh, of uh, something a bit smaller that won't get stopped in customs <laughs> then I uh, also like to grab some goodies and I have bought some brushes they have some nice deals on uh, brushes on Blitzy so check that out so these are uh, high flow acrylics and I think basically you can use them for um, things like airbrushing and um, you know you can use it for calligraphy or something like that lots of options for me the appeal is that they are you know similar to watercolors and just a quick word about this uh, cream that you saw me putting there <laughs> it's by Windsor Newton and it's called art guard and it's a barrier cream um, which means that uh, you know you can paint with your fingers and the paint won't absorb into your skin. Um, I think uh, I should have applied a little bit more but it did uh, come off uh, for the most part a lot easier when I washed my hands after getting messy. So, um, so yeah these uh, paints now you don't have to go out and buy them but <laughs> they are <laughs> super fun um, i also have the liquitex inks and these are um, thinner uh, they are still very intense you can see the colors are beautiful and bright um, but just uh, you know if you want to know the differences between the two um, the these are as I said, uh, kind of thinner. It's not good or bad, it just depends <laughs> what you uh, prefer. Um, if you have the Liquitex inks and you want to get a similar uh, consistency to these, or if you have other paints, you can buy the Golden Airbrush Medium and mix that with some paint and then um, it really creates this uh, high flow uh, paints. So I just wanted to see what these colors uh, do, how they mix, how they look. I think it's a really great idea once you get a new product, especially when it's, you know, 10 colors. That's a lot, um, you know, just to, to see how they look and how they mix and, you know, see your favorites. And as I said, these colors are really beautiful. It's fun to work with. Um, for me, I especially like it because it's similar to watercolor, so I can kind of play around with it with similar um, ways and techniques that I use watercolors. And um, yeah, just have fun. And of course, these are acrylics, so once they dry, they are permanent. Uh, and you can just add on the layers now this set the reason I got this set there are a few sets and I think some of the colors overlap so make sure uh, you know if you're looking into these uh, just pay attention to the colors this one is the transparent set and again with the you know hint for watercolors uh, that's why I picked this set because I love that transparency I love to layer um, these paints and the selection of colors I used here, um, I think seven out of the 10. Um, so all those bright colors and then the gray one. And they're all really lovely, really bright colors. Um, I will link to it in the description box and uh, hopefully on a blog post so you can see exactly um, the colors. Uh, 
what would make this set perfect in my opinion um, would be that there are three kind of earth um, paint colors um, transparent oxide iron yellow oxide brown oxide <laughs> all kinds of oxides <laughs> and they are beautiful and transparent but I I would have preferred if the set had let's say two of those uh, or even one <laughs> just because I like bright colors and what I especially miss in this set is um, a blue that is a little bit on the red side so something like cobalt blue or ultramarine uh, I think would have made this set um, for me just a little bit more versatile of course I have um, cobalt blue or ultramarine in my stash uh, not the high flows but um, uh, of course I can uh, use those to get more versatility because the blue here although it's not um, super green uh, it's still a little bit more on the green side it's uh, phthalo blue I think so it has a bit um, of you know a green shade to it uh, so it has a bit of yellow in it is what I mean to say uh, but other than that um, little um, comment uh, I think this is a really really fun set and if you want to try um, golden paints or liquid acrylics or high flow acrylics then I think this uh, would be a great set um, there are 10 of these I think these are one ounce bottles uh, but the color is so intense so I think uh, unless you're doing really big paintings this will last you a long time uh, especially if you use them with water which is how I like to use them uh, because you know if you use them with water you can really see how they flow and spread and it's kind of hard to get these effects with the heavier uh, paints uh, you can but you need to mix them and these you know you just add a little bit a drop and then you add water and they pff, they really flow so I'm just having fun just playing around and here you can see I mixed the yellow and the green and it creates this really lovely kind of lime or um, I don't know May green this lovely spring green um, and yeah I'm using a flat brush I have separate brushes for acrylics and separate brushes for watercolor my watercolor brushes are sacred to me and uh, no other medium touches them uh, and I suggest that you do the same and now everything is dry and I'm adding some splatters oh a white actually could have been a nice addition to the set but it's not transparent obviously so I get why it's not in the set so I'm just using my Liquitex titanium white ink if it ever decides to focus and that's it I added some uh, journaling and just had a lot of fun with these colors and yeah you can see they're really beautiful I did just so my surface you want to do that and that's it. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.